Hey there everyone, I hope you're rocking today. In previous videos, I talked about the equipment and the software I use for video production. But I forgot a big key in how I work, and that's what's on the top of my desktop and all the peripherals I use. Each device that I use speeds up my productivity and helps me immensely. I'll be talking about each one of them today. Before I get going, if you have any questions or concerns or anything you want me to talk about, just leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, a professional geoscientist. Computer peripherals are an integral part of my video production, digital art, and audio production setups. I have a set of very specific gear that I've harnessed over the years that I'm going to show to you today. This video is slightly different in that I'm using a webcam to record and talk about my desktop peripherals. I think it turned out alright, and I can definitely see how I can use this setup in the future. Let's jump right in. Hello everybody, this is my desktop at home. And front and center you can see that I've got an Intuos 4 Wacom or Wacom. I like saying Wacom, but I, I believe it's pronounced Wacom tablet that I use for my drawings in Photoshop and in Illustrator. Now, I, I sometimes use it for Premiere Pro, sometimes for After Effects, but mostly this is where I do my drawing. And this piece of hardware is, is the second oldest uh, peripheral I use. I've been using this for, I think, about, let's say, seven years. I've, I actually had a, tablet, uh, an, uh, a Wacom tablet before that. It, it was the smaller gray one. I and I I use that for oh I don't know let's let's pick a number ten years or something. It was so old it was it was gooey at the at the wiring. Um, but this is a, an essential part of my my desktop kit because well this is where all my drawings occur. Uh, grab this over here. Of course this is the pen for the Intuos and I'll do a little bit of pen uh, pen magic. Woohoo! Can't go the other way though, only go this way, only go that way. Anyways, essential. I've got uh, hotkeys. I actually don't use the hotkeys on the Intuos whatsoever. I've got uh, copy paste. Uh, I do use precision. Actually, there's precision mode down here. I do use every once in a while. Now you can also see it's actually it's got some scratches on it. I've got a cover on it, but uh, still, this is this has been used so much that it's just invaluable, invaluable. So put that down. Uh, the next piece of tech I'm going to show you that I that's on my desktop is my Logitech G13. This is a gaming keypad that's uh, used for doing uh, all your gaming hotkeys. Now, I don't game on this PC whatsoever. I, I don't do any gaming. What um, I, If I'm going to do gaming, I'm going to do it on my PS4, or if I'm playing other games like, you know, I, I've, got a, I've got a Wii U and play some of those games still. So this, while it is a gaming keyboard, I do not use it for gaming whatsoever. All my hotkeys for every single program I use are set up on here. There's some consistent ones I have. I've got undo, redo, zoom in, zoom out, uh, pen, eraser, escape, uh, select all, uh, what is it, group, ungroup. And the strange thing is, is because I've been using this for so long and I've programmed all of my software to, to, to be able to harness these keys. I can't remember what some of them do. It just automatically comes up when I'm doing my my doing. No, I don't want to say programming. When I'm making videos or when I'm doing animations or even when I'm in say uh, ArcGIS Pro. I, now I did a video where I would talked about how I use this for ArcMap. I don't use ArcMap anymore. <clears throat> Go ArcGIS Pro. But invaluable. Invaluable, just like my Intuos. This thing, well, this get you gets used more because I all my hotkeys. Amazing, amazing piece of software. Or not hardware. Ah, oh, knocked over a xenomorph. Oh yeah. Okay. Whoop. Yeah, I got uh, got some fake Lego xenomorphs here. Let's see. Is that going to get in get in focus? Nah, not really. I turned on the auto turned off the autofocus because it was pretty bad. So let's see if I can get this guy in here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Fake Lego xenomorph. The only problem is it really makes me mad is this. Look how, uh, that's what happens when you buy baked stuff. It's garbage. 
I'll put uh, I'll put fake Zeno next to fake Ripley and uh, and fake Engineer, and I got I uh, got my Kiss Batman and uh, Ghostbusters. Oh, I'm missing a Ghostbuster. Uh, it's in a box somewhere. Anyways, we'll go on to the next piece of equipment on my desktop, which is the Logitech G600, I believe, 21 button mouse. And just like this guy down here, I've got many different hotkeys programmed into its thumb keypad. So much so that I can't remember what some of them do. Now, when I say some of them, let me say, let me phrase that. I can't remember right now. If I was to say if I had After Effects open or if I had Premiere Pro open on my computer screen right now, I'd be like, oh yeah, if I if I hit the G lock button and press this, what would that be? Let me think about that. G lock. Oh, that accesses the time the times. Uh, what else? Uh, another one will access trend do uh, apply transitions. Uh, there also the these are all just numbers normally one two three four five six seven eight through through zero and plus and minus but when you do I use the G lock they turn into other things and again just like my my Logitech G13 here the hot keys that I've programmed here I can't really remember them I've been using them so long now this is actually fairly new into my onto my desktop maybe about three four years now. Uh, but invaluable now. I couldn't couldn't live without it. I yeah, that'll change when we get brain implants or something. Right now, it's uh, we still have to use these things, whatever they are, fingers. Oh, now uh, one of the new, the probably the absolute newest addition to my desktop is this keyboard. Now it's a Logitech keyboard. I'm gonna have to move the webcam a bit. I can't really do much. Yeah, it's the uh, it says right here the. G700 Plus. Now, I bought this keyboard thinking I would be able to harness the, the these these special keys over here, just like I've harnessed pretty much every single button on my G600 and my G13. But app, but no, this keyboard I have not been able to capitalize on any of these buttons. It this. What I learned very quickly is even though I spent about, I think at the time it was about a hundred bucks, it was just a normal keyboard will will work wonders. Just just a normal one. Well, that's because all my hotkeys are taken up on my G13. Oh, I'll take that Xenomorphs. And any ones that I missed are now taken up on my G600. I do not need a special keyboard anymore. I also have a uh, one of these guys. It's a uh, 3D Connections uh, uh, Space Mouse. Uh, I got this when I was trying to get into more 3D with 3D animations, and uh, the learning curve was just too much. So it's actually just sort of sits on my desk doing nothing. Nothing. Big paperweight. Unless, of course, I decide to get into 3D animations, which uh, one day. I might. Let's put this back in there. So that was my desktop. Ugh, giving you probably anybody who's watched this far motion sickness. Uh, I wonder how long this is going for. Maybe. Uh, we'll just call it quits. Let's see what time it is. Look at that. Almost midnight. That's going to give me enough time, maybe, to edit the video. So that is my desktop. And that is what's on the top of my desk and the peripherals I use. Unbelievably useful in my workflow, I would be hobbled without each piece of equipment. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.